Hi there! In this video I will show how to draw a sinus wave in App Inventor. I'll use the canvas uh, to draw on and uh, for that we have to, to do a little trick to turn the, the coordinate system around because uh, in uh, App Inventor the canvas has it uh, 0 0 0.0 up in the uh, left corner so we have to, to move it uh, and uh, flip it, uh, but I'll show how to do that. So uh, let's go into App Inventor and uh, I'll uh, make my, my uh, drawing uh, app here in the landscape and I'll hide my title and my status bar. Then I'll set my background color to uh, dark gray and uh, I'll center the content so my uh, canvas will be in the middle of the screen here. So I'll drop a canvas and uh, set the background image to my background uh, uh, image I made in Photoshop. And I'll set the height to 200 uh, pixels and the width to 400 pixels. So I know the the actual uh, width and height, so I can uh, um, draw my exact uh, in an exact coordinate co coordinate system. So I'll go into the block editor, and uh, in the block editor, I'll uh, when the screen initialize, I'll draw my curve. So uh, I'll start by um, running a loop through. Uh, each of the x coordinates, so I'll type x here, and uh, it's from 1 to 399. So uh, let's go back here because the width is 400, so I'll draw the last one in uh, 399. And uh, as I said, the 0, 0.0 is up here, so I'll uh, Flip it and then I'll add uh, hundreds to get to, to the middle here. So uh, I have to, to draw a point on the screen. Uh, so I'll use this uh, canvas procedure draw circle. And uh, here I'll have my, of course, I'll have my X number in this one. And in this one, I have to calculate my uh, Y for the sinus uh, value. So for this one I need uh, a plus or addition um, block here and I need a multiply block in the second one and then uh, I need my sinus one. So I'll get that. And I put that in the second one here, and in this one I need uh, also a multiply. And finally I need a division in the first slot here. So uh, I'll explain the numbers I put in here. So in the first one I'll put in a minus 100, and that's doing the flipping of the coordinate system so I'll, this is the amplitude but uh, by uh, uh, using minus in front of it uh, I'll get uh, I have a positive uh, direction for for start uh, even though the, this this canvas is flipped. So uh, in the last one I have to add uh, 100, so I can use this. So when I have flipped it I'll, um, I'll add 100 to go from, from 0 up to uh, the new 0 up here, which is the actual uh, 100 uh, position in the Y. Okay, so uh, now I'll, I'll 
calculates my uh, angle. I want to draw uh, one uh, wave here. So in this one, uh, we have to go from zero to three six. 360 degrees and uh, I have a from 1 to 400 here so I'll make a little calculation with uh, uh, 360 and up here and then I find the part here control C control V and I'll multiply by 400 here and then I need my X value so I'll duplicate this and uh, here we actually have our little uh, sinus uh, calculation. So I have the, uh, the flip amplitude here and my sinus uh, calculation here. And uh, it's taking a, a degree uh, from zero, uh, one to uh, 360. And then I add hundreds to uh, raise my uh, to the middle of my canvas. Then I can set the radius and I'll try and set it to to 2 to, so we'll get a, a nice visible curve. And finally I want to set my uh, drawing color here, paint color. So I'll find the paint color here and I'll set it to uh, pick a, a color here. A uh, bluish one here. This one, I guess. So uh, let's see how we uh, uh, how this uh, looks. So I'll just pause and uh, start the emulator. Okay, so here we see uh, the emulator has started, and I'll just flip it by pressing Control uh, F11, and uh, so uh, you can see. Uh, the emulator in landscape here. So that's how you draw a sinus wave in App Inventor.